हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल केमिकल अड्डा प्लीज वॉच दिस वीडियो टिल द एंड टू लर्न अबाउट द वेरिएबल वॉल्यूम बैच रिएक्टर इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट व्हाट इज द वेरिएबल वॉल्यूम बैच रिएक्टर हाउ कैन वी कैलकुलेट द रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ कॉम्पोनेंट आई इन टर्म्स ऑफ कॉन्सेंट्रेशन एंड द रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ दिस अपियरेंस ऑफ कॉम्पोनेंट ए इन टर्म्स ऑफ कन्वर्शन First we will begin by studying the variable volume batch reactor The batch reactor in which the volume of the reaction system changes as the reaction progresses it is called a variable volume batch reactor So in a variable volume batch reactor as the reaction proceeds the volume of the reaction system also changes and hence density will also change as the reaction proceeds Hence a variable volume batch reactor is also called a variable density system Then in a variable volume batch reactor as the reaction proceeds the number of moles changes So in this type of reactor mostly gas phase reaction is carried out where at a given pressure and temperature as the reaction progresses the number of moles changes In such a case pressure should held constant Hence the system also called a constant pressure system Then these reactors are much more complex than the simple constant volume batch reactor. Therefore, the main use of this type of reactor is microprocessing field where a capillary tube with a movable bead would represent the reactor. Now, let's take the example of a gas phase reaction with a changing number of moles. The reaction is N2O gives 1 mole of N2 plus half mole of O2. This reaction is a decomposition reaction that is carried out at constant pressure. From this reaction, we can conclude that 1 mole of N2O gives 1 mole of N2 and 0.5 mole of O2. Hence 1 mole of N2O gives 1.5 moles of products. Hence the number of moles changed. And due to this, at a given temperature and constant pressure, the volume will increase. So there is variation in the volume of the reaction system during the course of the reaction. Now let us derive equation for the rate of change of component I in a variable volume batch reactor. So as we know the rate of change of component I is given by R I is equal to one by V into d n I by d t equation number one, where R I is rate of change of component I. V is the volume of the reaction system and dNi by dT is the rate of change of moles of component I but Ni is equal to Ci into V where Ni is the number of moles of component I and Ci is the concentration of component I after putting the value of Ni in equation 1 equation 1 becomes Ri is equal to 1 by V into d dt of Civ. So after applying the product rule of derivative, we get Ri is equal to 1 by V into in bracket V into d Ci by dt plus Ci dv by dt. After solving the bracket, we get Ri is equal to d Ci by dt plus Ci by V dv by dt. hence we get equation that shows the rate of change of component i for variable volume batch reactor in terms of concentration now let's derive the equation for the rate of disappearance of reactant a in terms of conversion so as we know the rate of disappearance of reactant a is given by minus ra is equal to minus 1 by v into dna by dt where minus ra is equal to the rate of disappearance of reactant a v is the volume of the reaction system dna by dt is the rate of change of moles of reactant a and na is moles of a remained at any time t during the course of the reaction so as we know na can be expressed in terms of conversion as Na is equal to Na zero into one minus x a, where Na zero is the initial moles of a, 
and x a is the conversion of a. Then, as we know, in a variable volume batch reactor, the volume of the reaction system changes as the reaction proceed. And it varies linearly with conversion. Therefore, we can write V is equal to V0 into 1 plus epsilon AXA, where V0 is the initial volume of the reaction system, and epsilon A is the fractional change in volume of the reaction system between no conversion and complete conversion of reactant A. So according to the definition, the formula for epsilon A can be written as epsilon A is equal to V at X A is equal 1 minus V at X A is equal 0 divided by V at X A is equal 0. Where V at X A is equal to 1 is the volume of the reaction system at complete conversion. And V at X A is equal to 0 is the volume of the reaction system at no conversion. Therefore, epsilon A is also defined as a change in the total number of moles of the reaction system when the reaction is completed divided by the total number of moles fed to the reactor. Hence, after putting the value of Na and V in the equation, the rate of disappearance equation can be written as minus Ra is equal to minus 1 divided by V0 into 1 plus epsilon AXA into DDT of Na0 into 1 minus XA. So, as Na0 is an initial mole of the reactant A, and it is constant, hence the equation can be written as minus Ra is equal to minus Na0 divided by V0 into 1 plus epsilon AXA into DDT of 1 minus XA. But as we know, CA0 is equal to Na0 divided by V0, where CA0 is initial concentration of A. Hence the equation 5 can be written as minus Ra is equal to minus CA0 divided by 1 plus epsilon AXA into DDT of 1 minus XA. Now, let's take the derivative of 1 minus XA. So, we get minus Ra is equal to minus CA0 divided by 1 plus epsilon AXA into DDT of 1 minus DDT of XA. As we know, the derivative of the constant term, that is 1, is 0, hence we get minus Ra is equal to minus Ca0 divided by 1 plus epsilon AXA into, in bracket, 0 minus DDT of XA. So after solving the bracket, we get, hence we get final equation as minus Ra is equal to Ca0 divided by 1 plus epsilon AXA into DXA by DT. So this equation shows the rate of disappearance of reactant A for variable volume batch reactor in terms of conversion. From this equation, we can find integrated rate equation for different order reaction. Now, let's summarize this topic. In variable volume batch reactor, the volume of the reaction system changes as the reaction proceed. It is also called variable density system. In this system, pressure should held constant. Hence this system also called a constant pressure system. Rate of change of component I in terms of concentration is Ri is equal to dCi by dt plus Ci by V into dV by dt. And rate of disappearance of reactant A in terms of conversion is minus Ra is equal to Ca0 divided by 1 plus epsilon AXA into dXA by dt. So that's all about the variable volume batch reactor so keep watching in the next video we will discuss another topic so if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel which is chemical edda